What's up gamers, the AK-24 is the first assault rifle to be unlocked after the standard M5 and it offers quite different characteristics to this first AR. It hits slightly harder, but also it has a slightly lower rate of fire at 650 rounds per minute. In this video, we will go over some loadout options, after which I will give you my top tips on using the AK, as well as some demonstration clips of the weapon in action. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the AK, as well as this video on the whole, leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Now let's take a look at the loadout options. Okay, so let's take a look at the loadout for the AK now. So we go in here, you know the drill by now, we'll take a look through. So my standard loadout, you can see here I've got the K8 holographic, I've got the standard issue rounds in the drum, I've got the rattlesnake light grip and the warhawk compensator. And I feel like this is the most versatile setup you can have just for running around with. And then we obviously got some uh, specialist equipment for different situations like the suppressor here, the laser sight for when you want to get up close and personal with the full auto, just helps with the hip fire a little bit. And we've also got this ghost hybrid for when I'm fighting in a you know, little bit longer ranges than normal, but not too far out. And then of course, for picking off those long range targets, We've got the six times scope there. We've got the LWG grip and of course the long extended barrel there. As well as its other differences from the M5, the AK also has higher recoil. At first, this can be a little tricky to get used to, but once you've used the AK a little and unlocked one of the grips that reduces vertical recoil, you'll find this much more manageable. It also goes without saying, guys, that to maximize your accuracy with this weapon, you will need good trigger discipline. What is trigger discipline, I hear you ask? Mostly, it simply means not just holding down a trigger until the target, or yourself, is dead. But instead, controlling your shots into groups of two to three shots at a time. This will stop the muzzle climb from pulling your crosshairs off the target, rewarding you with a quicker time to kill. As a general rule, I would say that up to a distance of about 25 meters, full auto is the best option. Just aim for center torso and hold down the trigger until they drop. From 25 to 75 meters is where you will want to be using two to three round bursts, making sure to take your time getting the crosshairs back on target before each burst. For targets beyond 75 meters, well, to be honest, the AK isn't the ideal weapon for that but there is a solution and that's why we've equipped the long barrel six times scope and that LWG grip it's also a good idea at this point to switch to either the two round burst or for those really long range targets the semi-automatic option now just bear in mind that you won't be getting too many kills from these ranges as both the damage drop off and the actual bullet drop on the AK are going to be pretty severe for any targets out beyond 100 meters. Your best bet is to watch where the bullets land, try to adjust your aim so that your shots will end up close to your target's head. This will be especially important for you completionists out there as the final optics unlock for the AK requires 100 kills from a range of 150 meters. Yeah. So that's the big points out of the way, the rest are just the basics. Remember to use your suppressor when flanking, watch your ammo count, make sure to take advantage of that big drum on the AK, and make use of cover as much as you possibly can. Now I'm going to let this last clip play out, make sure to exercise that trigger discipline we talked about, and you too can be a beast with the AK. I'm Fun Guy, and I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.